Hi, this video is about imposition. Uh, imposition is a function of prepress. It's usually something that uh, the print shop will do. Um, at times you may be doing some imposition on your own as a designer if you need to print some files from your own printer or um, have the imposition set up for some reason. But if you're going commercial printing, uh, most of the time the pre-press department will do their imposition work. So imposition really just means kind of break down the word. It means to put the artwork into position uh, for a press sheet. So it takes your artwork and it'll use other software, lay the artwork out into uh, a template that is set up to match the press sheets that go on their presses. And those press sheets will have a lot of other stuff around the edges, like job numbers, registration marks and targets, color bars for the press operator to measure color. Um, and then the pre-press technician can also put in spacing between the artwork. Um, if it's pages for a book, they'll be able to put the pages in the correct order for each sheet side um, and put the, um, you know, some have to be flipped upside down and backed up so that when the paper gets folded, um, that it goes in the right order. So that's imposing the artwork in the proper way. Um, and other things they need to keep track of, such as um, if the paper is going to be folded a lot, they need to put in extra space where the folds are going to be because the folds take up space, things like that. So uh, it's really particular for the presses that they have, the sheet size that they're going for. But the main goal is to um, try to save money and to save paper. So they'll match your artwork to uh, the paper size because paper comes in specific sizes for presses. Um, they'll match your artwork to the uh, paper size to be most economical and efficient. So there's uh, not a big waste of paper. Um, so uh, there's a couple of you know examples here. Here's an example of a business card that if you were to print um, 5,000 business cards, you wouldn't lay it out on one sheet and print 5,000 sheets. That would take a lot of paper with a waste paper and it would take more time on the press. Um, so you would do what's called a gang up and you would put multiple copies of that business card on one sheet and it would be less time on the press and take less sheets of paper, saving money and time. Um, so one key thing for you to keep in mind and why imposition is important is that paper is the most expensive material in a print uh, project. It's more expensive than the ink, more expensive than the plates, um, and the most expensive time is the press. So the uh, time gets counted by hour. There's a cost that to pay for the operator and pay for the, um, the running the press. So um, and that goes true for bindery equipment and pre-press time and so on. Um, but the press is considered the most expensive labor. So the less time that your job is on press, the less, ex less expensive your job is going to be overall. Uh, there's three main types of impositions I want you to be aware of. Um, one is what I mentioned already, the gang up. That's where you put multiple copies on a sheet like the business cards. The other is called a work and turn. And that's kind of shown down here um, on the right. And it is where you can take the, the printed artwork and set it up so that uh, the printing plates will be the same. And all you do is you print one side of the sheet and then you can flip the sheets over and print the other side with the same printing plates and you will get um, the same results. Um, the way that saves money and time is that you just use one set of printing plates and you don't have to take the time to change out the printing plates. So uh, that saves time. And the other is, um, another one is called, oops, sorry about that, is the first form, inner form, or sheet wise, what is normally called. And that's just where each side is different and you just have to make a set of plates um, to be printed 
as is. There's no really way to impose it to save money or time. Um, so sheet-wise is also called first form, inner form, rarely. It's mostly sheet-wise. Um, or work and turn or gang up. Those are your three main imposition techniques. This is just showing a diagram of, um, of the cost savings for um, the cost, I'm sorry, uh, showing the cost savings for using the different imposition techniques. So you can see there's um, the orange part is the make ready. Um, I'm sorry, the red part is the make ready. The uh, gold part is the printing, the time on printing, and the blue part shows the work and turn. So a make ready is when the press operator has to change out the plates. Uh, they um, shut the press down, take the old plates off, put new plates on, spin it back up, get the color up to uh, density, and get the alignment correct, and then they um, start running the job again. So with a, uh, with a work and turn, you just put on one set of plates, and, it, and then you can flip the paper over, and you don't have any make readies. Um, but with other jobs, you have make readies in between, and that just extends the printing time. So there's uh, impos imposing for um, for uh, books um, and different types of impositions. So like if you're printing an eight-page booklet and you had uh, eight and, uh, 11 by 17 sheets, you would have two sheets, and you would print them on both sides, fold them, and then insert them together. Um, or you could go with a bigger press sheet and print all eight pages, you know, four on one side, four on the other, you fold it up and you get your eight page booklet there. So the first one here, the 11 by 17 is more expensive because you're um, running two, uh, two sheets and then um, there's more make ready time having to take it off the press, um, put the other plates on and switch it over. We're having more sheets on a page, you have less make ready time and they can run uh, the book faster. And so this eight page booklet um, is quicker. This is called, when you have a piece of paper like this with pages on it and it gets folded and turned into a book um, or parts of a book, that's called a signature. Um, and uh, InDesign does have a print booklet function under the file menu that is simple in position. So it can do some, if you were making a booklet, it'll impose the pages for you. Um, so yeah, a signature is just a sheet of paper that contains pages. So it's used in book publication uh, that when the pages are folded together, um, they form what's called a signature. So these, in this case, your book pages would, would be imposed into a signature. And this is um, a 16 page signature. So there's eight pages on one side and eight pages on the other. And that's for a 40 inch press sheet. So it's a big press sheet. Um, so signatures, a little bit more on that. Um, there's two ways they can go together. One is by being, um, uh, folded and inserted so they can take the uh, signatures and nest them together and insert them like that or they can stack them together um, we'll learn more about this as we get into bindery and post uh, book binding and post printing processes finishing processes but um, there's a uh, term called creep <laughs> I know it's kind of odd but there's a term called creep and what creep is is when you have um, nested signatures that are, you have uh, signatures inserted together. And you can see in this diagram here, the more you have the, uh, the more pages and the more signatures inserted, the inner pages will stick out because of the thickness of the paper. And so when it gets cut, these inner pages will be uh, closer to the edge as is shown up here. And so pre-press has to know, okay, these are going to be 
uh, nested signatures for this type of book printing. And we need to um, adjust the imposition of the printing for these inner pages so that the creep doesn't take, uh, take over and make the pages get cut off or really close to the edges. Um, we'll cover this again in um, book binding, but um, it is kind of combined with imposition. It's a way imposition works to, um, to uh, get your job printed correctly. Now, this other diagram here is just showing um, inserted versus stacked signatures again. So anyways, um, that's about it for imposition, and we will stop there.